Oh, is this like that crazy editing like channel with the crazy edits? It's like a fever dream. It's funny. I don't know, chat. You've told me to watch some some videos before and I thought they were pretty lame. Hmm. What's a funny one? No, his vid videos are bangers. Trust. Let's how about this Bloodborne one? This Bloodborne one seems funny. I love I love Bloodborne. Oh god. The video has spoilers. Bloodborne is a Lovecraftian horror RPG that no one understands by definition, where the player is free to attack hordes of human children at will and consume their innards. If that in-depth mm -hmm. and engaging anti-baby gameplay appeals to you, keep listening because it gets worse. In this game, you play as John Bloodborne, a foreigner incapable <laughs> of speech without the use of sign language, and stricken with Habsburg disease, comes to the ancient city of London seeking treatment for the sins of his cousins. In doing so, he will begin hallucinating talking dolls spider people and the great oh, God. journeying further john bloodborne becomes conscripted into the service of a gay elder god and a 60 year old man he keeps as a pet and is given the ultimate what task of killing an invisible infant in order to cure his anemia to accomplish said anemia. herculean task the player must journey through dark forests terrifying nightmares and the meth-ridden alleyways of a post-brexit britain slaying monsters so exploring and tricking women into being impregnated by oh. gods so you can consume the child oh, this my. game is an excellent realization of a metroidvania with something new around every corner a great action rpg which pits you against insurmountable odds and extreme challenges and has a gripping story and lore about discovering the eldritch truth so if you can play it yourself because i'm not going to hold back on the details it's no secret that my reviews are entertainment first so i don't suggest using me as genuine advice However, most people <laughs> can't play this game ever because you have to buy a $400 magical box sold by the wizard Sony in order to experience it. And even Sony. then, you get to see it in an amazing 30 frames per second with no anti-aliasing. Port this game to PC, I beg of you. In fact, I can assume that a lot of people watching this video will basically never play the game. But keep watching because I'm hilarious and original. Do that, and I can give you the full, unfiltered, uncensored, unsubstantiated, and unsportsmanlike experience that is Bloodborne. Amen. The gameplay is what makes this game great, and the easiest way to describe it is simple but complicated. On a simple level, your baby brain is responsible for only two tasks, dodging and hitting. And dodging in this game renders you temporarily invincible. Sounds easy, right? True. Well, because every single enemy is adjusted to keep pace with you. Basic enemies are basically able to whoop your ass into fucking non-existence. True. Every encounter, therefore, is tense and engaging. When you kill someone, it's because you were faster and had more meth than they did. On so a complicated true. level, you have a gun, and normally bullets hurt people, but in London, bullets are suggestion like the Geneva Convention. Here in England, it's all about the knife bins. Except when you shoot somebody mid-attack, you gain the mystical and arcane ability to plunge your fist through their ribcage like Mortal Kombat and rip out their heart, which is considered rude and a slight annoyance. This extends to behind them a if you charge an attack, annoyance. which sometimes causes you to reach up a pig's oh asshole and rip out the prostate like fruit what by the, the foot. Side note, the most optimal farming route for currency in this game is called Murgo's Pig <laughs> Fisting Route. See, I changed the webpage. And in this route, you sneak up behind this guy and do him the dirty. <laughs> then entice these two swindler bastards to be mauled to death by members of organization 13 repeat 50 times on a complicated level every single weapon in the game has two different modes with two different what? movesets and transforming between them gives you special attacks in addition to running attacks plunging attacks, 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 attacks on a theoretical physicist oh. level your character memorizes squiggly lines and fridge art created by gods for passive bonuses that work regardless of weaponry my favorites are more money more money and more money they stack <laughs> finally on a meta theoretical chiropractic level every weapon is customized with different gem Boom slots hammer. that give differing effects for your attacks. And there are different types that can literally change all of the stats of the weapon, like making a fucking spear do more damage based off of intelligence. There's definitely more and a lot of strategy in how you level up your character, but I assume that you know how to level up in a fucking video game. But mm -hmm. with all this combat prowess, you may be wondering, Maxor, who are these crusty Sex. abominations that you're fighting on screen? Well, to learn that much, we're going to have to delve into the lore. lore. So buckle your britches, bitches, because this shit is wild. Uh, if I say British. something questionable, just accept 
it is fact. I can be trusted. 60 years ago, 20 rowdy college students took their education extremely seriously um, because they found woman Cthulhu. She was just in a portable toilet downstairs. Also, me. because they were bored, they beat to death a god of the sea with some bats, but Ow! that's a story for later. It turns out the entire world is ruled and created by a race of elder gods beyond human comprehension called the Great Ones. Figuring this Perfect out, they got gods. Cthulhu's blood and were like, we can make a religion out of this. Because it turns out the blood can heal people, which is really good due to all the knife crime. So everyone starts <laughs> drinking it a little too much and they get the money to build 36 cathedrals. But it turns out eventually the blood turns you into a werewolf. So the church oh. hires a guy named German to go fight the beasts with an organization known as the Hunters. But there's too many beasts, so he gives up. Now the knife crime has oh. increased even more and German sort of goes insane and creates a life-size doll of one of his students who is an oh. eight-foot-tall Amazonian. He also canonically has sex with it. The moon oh. god, for some reason, kind of takes notice of this and is like, all right, listen, I'm building a suicide squad. I will bring your waifu to laifu if you serve me for all time as my slave. German reasonably thinks that um, this is a great deal and is imprisoned so in a dream. Pussy. This is where you come in. See, the moon god assassinates baby what? gods for fun, but needs a hitman to go into the real world to do it since he's confined to the ninth sure. dimension. So in addition wait, wait, to fighting wait, 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 all wait, 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 I need to go back. I need to go. I Hold on. I, it's cut. Uh, hold on, you, they, they, they lost me. They lost me for, hold on. He also canonically has sex with it. The moon god, for some reason, kind okay. of takes notice of this and is like, all right, listen, I'm building a suicide squad. I will bring your waifu to laifu if you serve me for all time as my slave. German reasonably thinks that this is a great deal and is imprisoned in a dream. This is where you come in. Okay. See, the moon god assassinates baby gods for fun, but needs a hitman to go into the real world to do it since he's confined to the ninth sure. dimension. So in addition to fighting all manner of giant beasts and uncovered covering dark secrets. The true aim of this game is to commit infanticide. There's enough bullshit here to fill tax legislation. So comment <laughs> your own poorly summarized Bloodborne lore below. And for the rest of us <laughs> non-chills, we have ample time to explain more of what makes this game great. Yes, happening? you have been jinxed. I am talking about bosses before I talk about the levels. In most video games, bosses cap My off brain. areas, but in Bloodborne, areas are preambles to a dick flattening, and nothing will challenge your skill in quite the same way. Except for the goddamn Witches of Hemwick, who were placed into the game for disability access. You can probably tell that Bloodborne is a hard game. We don't even know if a games journalist can beat it. But it's hard in a fair way that tests your skills and reaction time. Except for Lawrence, but I'll get back to Lawrence later. What sets this oh game's bosses apart is that the challenge makes it feel like you're a really Really small dude jabbing a toothpick into a building sized deer demon. So, yeah, I would be impressed if he killed that. But not only that. What? Wait, 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 So yeah, I would be impressed if he killed that. But not only that, unlike Dark Souls, every single boss reacts meaningfully to how you attack them. Large beasts can have their bones cracked and their tendons wound into a slinky. Bone boys can be knocked over and have their marrow shipped. And human enemies will wince and recoil when they see your height difference. As well, every boss punishes you for cowardice and actively discourages backpedaling with their forward momentum, causing every fight to be an elaborate dance with a thrilling back and forth. Unless you're fighting Rom, who is the really hungry caterpillar who had a legion of arachnid slaves who threw their heads underground like ostrich. Ooh. We don't talk about him. And while we're on the subject of bad bosses, this motherfucker, let me tell you something. The humanoid oh. bosses in this game are paradoxically the most dangerous. Oh Meek Lash is a psychological hazard that will hurt you personally. This boss literally feels like cut content because the fight centers around chasing him and his direction <laughs> depends on RNG, running? making him an actual Why speed are you run running? killer. When you corner speed him, he uses killer. one attack and then you chase him again where he gains the power to insta-kill you. God forbid you're hit by it because that's 10 minutes gone. Here's a tip. Save up 10 poison knives and steal from your family if you must. Then wait until he jumps down this hole, poison him repeatedly, and watch him spaz the fuck out until death. You will thank me. But as a result of everyone me. who isn't Miko shit, conquering a boss in this game is absolutely <laughs> rewarding on a level that other games cannot match. Or it's only court. because the odds are stacked against there. you in ways that don't feel bullshit most of the time that conquering them is the main reason I play, and their fights are undoubtedly the best I've ever done in video games. But that isn't most of the time in the game. In fact, a lot of your time is spent exploring the areas, so let's get into that.
that. Lesson one in area design. Where the fuck am I going? Exploration is the name of the game, except it's called Bloodborne. Only this time, you don't bring smallpox and kill 20 million people. We're looking at a solid 10 this time, because the main enemies in this game are British townspeople. It's how the developers made sure you didn't feel bad about killing them. The plague of beasts infecting London causes people's teeth to become beast-like, makes you aggressive <laughs> at night, and slurs your speech. So it's up to you to stop them, as a hunter should. If you don't look up where to go next in this game, good fucking luck. People get lost all the time. Get used to it. This game doesn't do exploration lost? like, oh, look, there's loot oh, in this it. hallway. My dopamine's gonna go crazy. That's baby shit. This is daddy's exploration, where you find a route back to a place you were in 10 hours ago. And I hope you weren't expecting a mini-map, or any map. Every single hallway is a rabbit hole of discovery, and your hand isn't held. Case in point, Cathedral Ward is a level, but feels like a hub area, because it connects to fucking everything. And what where you the start fuck? the game is in the middle of a loop-de-loop -loop involving torturous experimentation. Just look at the fucking map of this game. Everything overlaps. And yes, there the is a level fuck? called Nightmare Lecture Hall, and no, it does not connect to the Altar of Despair, although you would think that. Fittingly, the Lecture Hall is the smallest area, and more fittingly, 90% of the combat <laughs> is graduates throwing cum at you. The game also cum? has two completely secret areas that you would not find cum? without the internet. I would tell you how to enter, but I don't want to do calculus. And what you get at the end? <laughs> Upper Cathedral Ward is legitimately a horror area in a game loved for its combat, because it's filled with enemies who act out my greatest fears. Stealing currency permanently gives me yeah! fucking chills every time I talk about it. Castle Kanehurst is proof that From Software hates us all, since the best area in the entire game requires you to go to the Field of Corn in Ohio and trek down Waldo. Oh my god, my house! to invade the house of that parasitic queen dwelling in her demented castle, so that she may feel the wrath of the proletariat. All we have to do is kill Prince Philip, who guards the way as an eternal lich. On top of this, there are numerous NPCs and NPC quest lines spread throughout the world, all with a series of interactions with each other depending on location and timing. For instance, you could direct nuns, prostitutes, and Prince Philip to a church run by a lonely black sludge, then perform enough <laughs> blood transfusions to send the nun into a yandere rage. Or you could direct them to the nice woman who runs the clinic down the street who only wants to help and assist others. Then take a strange path through the forest and into her clinic to discover that she has been experimenting on all of them in order to create the Ew. blue man group. And if you want, you can take the umbilical cord away from her oh. schizophrenic ass and eat it. The sky's oh. the limit in Bloodborne quest lines. And you know what my favorite quest line is? The one where you descend into literal hell, complete with eternal punishment, insanity, and femboy fishing. The scariest <gasps> of them all. Favorite. I'm, of course, talking about the DLC, the only DLC for this game. And if you play through Bloodborne, you have to play through the DLC. I'm not giving you a fucking choice. So to oh. learn why, you should play the best expansion ever made since Spore Galactic Adventures. Jump jungles. Come with me on this amazing <laughs> journey to find the secrets of the Bloodborne, the old hunters. Part 3 The Old Hunters. I want you to imagine hell. Now imagine hell written by H.P. Lovecraft. It will be filled with squids, immigrants, and air conditioning. <laughs> this DLC has none of that except the squids. For you see, That's those a joke college because kids from the lore Lovecraft section of the video little... were built fucking different. They experimented on an entire village and <laughs> possibly beat up a god of the sea so fucking bad that her consciousness in the ninth dimension died. We spent oh. an entire game killing an infant and these Damn. guys somehow killed the MILF god. But anyways, milf in the process god. of this, it cursed them and all of the hunters to be doomed to a hell nice. upon death, where they will hunt in a bloodthirsty rage without rest for all eternity. Indistinguishable from a political subreddit. Case in point, <sighs> this is Ludwig. He's the first boss Ludwig. of the DLC and has a reputation for causing refunds. Not because he's bad, but because he's too good for you. The first phase is as difficult for me as realizing that Golden Corral is not actually a real corral. But like what? every restaurant except Golden Corral, the rewards at the end are delicious because his second phase is even harder. Now, I'm not going to lie, this DLC has four bosses and three of the oh. hardest bosses I have ever fought in oh. any video game ever. So, your ass will be clenched the entire time, and the fact that he's the third hardest is fucking concerning. Some people tell me, Maxor, your videos have gotten me through tough times because they made me laugh. But like this <laughs> boss, you are the one who is truly overcoming these challenges, and I believe in your ability to beat both of them, King. Boss Lightning Round. The DLC has many such cases of amazing bosses, including Lady Maria, who is the basis for German's extremely creepy eight-foot-tall doll fetish, but we'll get back to that. Um, and Orphan of Cause, who was born from the literal dead body of a god. If you enjoy the sensation of oh. being beaten to death with a sharpened placenta, this is the fight for you. And as with that's everything funny, that From Software up. makes, they threw in a boss that they didn't really finish and called it a day. I'm of course talking about Lawrence, which is a very mundane name for a fire monster locked in hell. Take my advice, don't fight Lawrence, you only lose a part of yourself. Since oh. this boss fights you by dropping off his own legs and then violently vomiting and shitting lava everywhere. I've oh. always wanted 
wanted my game about dynamic dodging and elaborate fencing to be reduced to shitty area denial like it's Team Fortress 2. To wrap things up, the music of this game is pretty good, but the DLC music is fucking insane. I don't know what it is about Japanese composers being able to make better symphonies than the continent that invented them, but just take a listen. Damn. Holy shit, I am alive right now. Have you ever thought, as I do, that this game is just too good? That you would really rather be playing a shittier version of the game? Such as the engagement of the Chalice Dungeons. I, of course, jest. They're fine, probably, <laughs> except for half of them. Because Bloodborne has an optional system of infinite dungeon generation for all of those who wish to break free of the shackles of good level design. Let's talk about how, and more importantly, why. Why? 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 First of all, Bloodborne has a system of dungeons that everyone shares and dungeons that are random. For my footage, I played the shared <laughs> dungeons so that you can be guaranteed the pain <laughs> visitness on screen is mandatory. One of the biggest strengths of Bloodborne oh. is the ability to have interesting and challenging enemy encounters gently rubbed with the bloodstained hands of Miyazaki. But I don't think I have to explain to you how randomizing almost every encounter in the game could be imbalanced. But fortunately, most enemies you encounter in the Chalice dungeons are new to spare British people your wrath, so you instead <laughs> fight scp 96. But why are we here? It turns out that the entire city of London was built on a Celtic burial ground, an ancient civilization called the Tumerians who discovered the healing powers of blood and then mysteriously disappeared. Wow, I wonder what happened. This is all cool in theory, but the Wait, reality is, that, is real? that most of the time you fight the same four enemies. Wait, is that real? I, I can't tell if he was joking or not. Is that real? Is, is Britain on top of a Celtic burial ground? Wait, that's true? Is that why Bloodborne looks like this? Is that why British people... <laughs> now, wait a... <laughs> um... <sighs> uh, now... Damn. It's all coming together, huh? <laughs> that explains some things. Um... That's why British people... Oh, shit. Oh, Joe, stop again! Cancel again! What? This is just popular opinion! You can't cancel me for a popular opinion! What? No! Well... Don't care. The Queen's dead, plus Brexit. I- I- you can- you can't cancel me. With what army? Huh? What army? I'm looking. Huh? Where? in theory, but the reality is that most of the time you fight the same four enemies, and the first three dungeons can be replaced by Simon Says. My cat literally wouldn't notice. The Chalice dungeons are so forgotten that the developers <laughs> use them to put no. joke enemies into the game. My favorite is the man the who aggressively died, so I could be queen. stark naked I could wearing be only his mechies. The uniqueness also extends to the bosses, and they're actually pretty cool, like two Marian descendant, Watchdog, and the three overweight men. Do you She's remember that basic enemy loud. from like two levels? He is the boss now. Rom, he is the boss Again, the only thing stopping me from throwing myself into a wood chipper is the fact that Miklash oh isn't back. And if you're going to have replays, Miklash. you probably want to make sure that they're actually good. In fact, the bosses are so fucking imbalanced that the watchdog fight is Pungent primarily blood. comprised of instant kill attacks. I beat Sekiro backwards on a keyboard, and this shit is too fucking much. Now, normally that would be all, but the dungeons go deeper. What we have discussed so far is merely the surface, and there is a much darker syndicate lying just below. These places you must never venture, for they are the save edit dungeons whereby through wizardry the community are able to conjure up deep dark chasms and share them with the rest of the world of these secrets there are only two that i shall reveal to you and the first oh. is the cum dungeon cum yes dungeon? you heard that correctly and clearly no, the cum up, dungeon anything. is the name of the most optimal farming route ever conceived by the fucking cricket people who do this shit whereby the player <laughs> enters the chasm of place name and watches as a high level boss yeets itself off a cliff murgo's pig fisting route can give you ten thousand oh, echoes this so gives 83,000. And if you thought that Damn. that sorcery was bad, it gets much worse. You can insert anything from the game files by save editing a chalice dungeon. Anything. This includes cut and unfinished content from the game that the developers forgot to delete. Like this doggo who attacks you with invisible lightning. Overall, the chalice dungeons are bad. They're not actually very fun to play, and yet I love them. Everyone loves them because they allow us to further explore a long dead game with the help of a passionate community. Now before we sign off, I know what you're thinking. Maxor, what about the multiplayer? That I would love to talk about with all the footage I have, but it's dead. If this game releases it's on dead? PC, 
end. It better. Then I will talk about the multiplayer extensively. And finally, this game and this video would not be complete if I didn't talk about the hunter's dream. After all the combat, the battles, and the difficulty of this game, it's nice to have a place to recharge, purchase items, upgrade weapons, and watch a as store? it finally burns to the ground. This is where you'll find German slowly wasting away as his soul remains captive for an eternity, and his oh. doll waifu that he sold his <laughs> existence to be with. She talks Man, to you, levels you up, offers pussy. you advice, and German says you're allowed to have sex with her. When I fell down and felt defeated, she was there to pick me she, up. When I emoted hunter. at her randomly, she pretended to be impressed, Yay. and she was there, graciously standing in the background of this one shot that I took <laughs> of myself. She is our waifu now, and the game is perfect and complete because she is in it. Now excuse me as I engage in the supplementary lore material. Should you get the Whoa. game? Yes, absolutely. I am biased. In fact, you should physically enter Sony's headquarters and demand that it be ported to PC. I will be right there with you. Tasers will not stop me. I would like to thank the corrupt hackers and politicians <laughs> funneling money into this channel directly <laughs> from the taxpayer. If you would like to contribute your funds accrued through extensive federal oh government God. corruption, you can head to my Patreon to learn more. I would also like to thank the kind denizens of the Mythbuster Smut Discord who sent me half the memes in this video. And as always, thank Myth you Buster for watching. Smut Discord? What the fuck is that? What is a Mythbuster Smut Discord? We have to rewind. What is that? You need a link? I don't know if you'll come out the same person if you if you found the link. Wow, this video really gave me um a hemorrhoid. 